For Krima Media's Quality, I'm Tabi Shomulikai. Author Adele Lamont joins me to unpack her book titled Two Little Raindrops. Welcome, Adele. Thank you so much for having me. Your first book, Two Little Raindrops, teaches children about the water cycle and conservation. So can you tell us about how the idea of your rhyming picture book came about? Yes, yeah, sure. When I was reading picture books to my children, I really enjoyed the special moments that were created during that time. And I love the way it brought us closer together and how they got so much enjoyment out of, out of reading books. And we kind of just escaped into this imaginary world. And I loved it so much. I knew then that I wanted to write picture books. I had it in the back of my mind and I didn't really know what to write about. And then one day I was sitting in my car and it was raining outside. And I'm just looking at the windshield in front of me. And these raindrops were falling on the windshield. And they kind of just looked like they were playing on the windshield. They would plop on there and then they'd quiver a little. They'd slide down the screen. It felt like they had little personalities. So I thought, well, it will probably be quite fun for kids to read about an adventure about these raindrops. So that's where the idea was formed. And then I had to sit down and think about, okay, well, what is this little adventure that these raindrops are going to have? And it made sense to me that they started in their cloud because that's kind of their home base with all their family and friends. And then they fall down as rain. And then maybe at some point they feel like they miss their family and they want to get back home. And I thought, well, there's precipitation. Let's take them through the water cycle on this fun adventure. And then the story can be entertaining for kids and I can also have educational value. And then at the end, I thought, okay, well, I want to also get kids to form habits early on about saving water. So I added these child-friendly tips at the end. What was the balance for you in being scientifically accurate in your research and writing in a way that children between the ages of three and eight will be interested? That's a good question because obviously it needed to be 100% scientifically correct, but it needs to have all those elements that kind of make a story exciting and interesting for, for kids of that age. So, you know, certain things like character come, come into it. So kids really need characters they can relate to. And here we have these two little raindrops. You know, how can I make them interesting? So I, I know my kids used to love characters that were funny and quirky and with an adventurous spirit. So I thought, okay, well, let's call them Splish and Splash. And maybe, you know, Splish has eyes like a fish. So he's got these big eyes. And then Splash is a fancy mustache. So, you know, these little quirks that kids find quite interesting and fun to read about. And then with the storyline, I plotted out the story and I made sure that the raindrops went through each of the important four stages of the water cycle according to what kids learn about between three and eight. And then once I plotted it out, I went back and I made the story rhyme. Rhyming is another technique you can use to make it a fun read for kids. The use of language is very important. So I had a lot of alliteration, you know, splishy splash sound. And then I, I incorporated some um, onomatopoeia. So there was like a plop and there was a whiz past a rock with a kick and a knock. And just trying to make it a lively and entertaining read. And then at the end, there is a, a diagram that actually shows the path or the journey that Splish and Splash went through with a simple explanation in relation to that journey. So kids can kind of put all together and understand the water cycle. And the illustrations for the book were done by South African designer Stephen Tu. What was your brief for the illustrator? For me, it was very important that you're working with inanimate things and you need to bring them to life and give them a personality. So I think that was my main thing is that can you bring these little raindrops to life? Can you take the characteristics they have and illustrate them in a way that kids will find endearing? Other than that, I, I knew I wanted it in a watercolor style. And then what I did is I gave them a table with the words on each double page spread. So a double page spread is the two pages together when you open a book. And I, I gave him the wording for all the pages. And he's, he, I mean, Stephen too is such a, a talented graphic designer and he went back and he, he just produced amazing work. I really love what he came up with. 
And Adele, can you tell us about your book being awarded the prestigious Gold Mom's Choice Award? Also, has that edged you to write similar books? Yes. So um, the Mom's Choice Awards, what they do is they evaluate children's books and other products for children, and they evaluate them in relation to their industry benchmarks. So receiving this, I, I was so thrilled because it's a seal of approval for parents and teachers who want to buy quality products. So here's a, an organization that evaluates on certain criteria like production quality and education value, originality, and, and a whole lot of criteria. So it really gave me confidence for sure. I mean, this was my first book. I didn't know what to expect. I was just hoping for the best. Very excited about doing more. I'm actually working on the second one with Stephen too again. And what are you hoping the impact of your books will be on children? So, I mean, besides the the kind of standard benefits that kids get from reading, I really hope that kids see nature in a different way. I hope that when it rains, they think about Splash and Splash and they realize this rain is providing water for our plants and animals and humans. And it's important to preserve water, to protect it. And I just hope that they appreciate the wonders of nature and looking after our beautiful environment. And lastly, Adele, where can people pick up a copy of your book? You can pick it up on the Reader's Warehouse website or you can request it at the Reader's Warehouse. And then you can also order it from my website, which is www.adellelamotte.com. And there you can order it and then it will be couriered to you. That was Adele Lamotte speaking to Criminal Media's Polity about two little raindrops.